right, guys, I am here to do a pick a card reading for the singles. So the question is, I am single. What's coming towards me? Or who's coming towards me? Hopefully not a what, right? I am single. Who's coming towards me? Choices are third eye chakra, base chakra, if you're rooted, heart chakra. All right. So I'm single. Who's coming towards me? Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you? Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, general reading, roles may be reversed. You know the routine, seriously. If it don't fit, you must have quit. And let's get started. So, if you have chosen the third eye chakra, which is reading number one, Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for those who have chosen the third eye chakra, who's coming towards them? They're single. Who's coming towards them? Please be as clear as possible. First card, Will of Fortune. Those who have chosen, whoa, second card jumped. The Emperor. Rawr. That was a symbol roar, a baby symbol roar. Rawr. <laughs> Third card, Oppression. And last card, I got two cards. Uh, Ten of Wands came out. And with that, the Sun card. Woo woo. All right. Let's get an Oracle card. Who's coming towards the people who've chosen the third eye chakra? Who's coming towards the people who've chosen the third eye chakra? Very soon is what we got. All right, guys. So it looks like the bottom of the deck, you have calling in your soulmate. It looks like you have a soulmate coming to you. There's going to be a shift happening here. Um, a shift. The universe is going to step in and shift. The sun card is the happiest card in the entire tarot deck. So I see that you have been through a lot, right? And it's time for you to release these burdens that you're carrying. Like, they're not meant for you to carry them along the way, but they've caused a lot of oppression because you have refused, really. It's almost like you felt like it was your burden to carry, but it's time to let it go. And so you have to be the emperor in your own life. You have to be the Simba of your own life. Don't be the Mufasa, right? Be the Simba of your own life and take control of that. And that's, the universe is shifting you into that power, um, so that you can make space for this person who is coming in, who will bring a lot of happiness into your life. But in order for them to bring happiness into your life, you have to first be happy, which is why these two cards at the bottom, the oppression and the 10 of wands, that's why you got to release that. Once you drop the burdens, the oppression goes along with it. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Who's coming in their life? Yeah. Yeah. This is someone, again, bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Oh, my God, I just raised the card. You got wedding under there. I'm just saying. Bottom of the deck, you have calling in your soulmate. So this is definitely something that you've been manifesting. You have been making space for this. Why is this emperor card here? Who's coming towards these people? It's going to be a decision. Once you make this decision to drop this oppression, you make that space for them. Once you make the decision to drop the burden, you make the space for them. You decide to take off in the direction of these roses here, in the direction of this world, which brings about a lot of happiness. You got that three of cups card there with the sun card, three of cups and the sun card. You're, you're going to have something to rejoice over. Could be that wedding card. Then look at this sun card for the second time. Two sun cards, two sun cards. Two motherfucking sun cards. Dude, do you know how happy you're going to be? Who's coming towards the people? Look at that. There it is. There's the relationship. Could be a marriage. Could be a marriage. 
you may already be with someone who's coming towards the people who have chosen or it could be someone that you walked away from could be someone you walked away from that you could be reconciling with. The Three of Cups can be a reconciliation. That's why I was thinking you were already with someone. Could be someone you walked away from or they walked away from you and you had to make space for them. There was a certain, there was something that needed to be healed within you in order to allow this dual sun card energy in. So they could be happy and you could be happy. And together, you're just happy, happy. Yeah, look at this. Some truth is coming into you. Um, someone wants to invest in you. Someone wants to um, solidify this relationship. Someone wants to commit. So there's definitely someone coming in. I definitely do see a marriage. I do see a celebration. I think the marriage is a ways off. But there's definitely a celebration coming into you. And here he is. So... The way that you all communicate, these are two kings here. This could be a same-sex relationship, but this also could be just the representation of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy. So the way that you guys communicate is very different. So keep that in mind. One of you is very charismatic and the other is very blunt and very kind of cutthroat. Um, and that could have been why you all separated in the first place, because you, the way that in which you communicate, the way in which you see life, view life, talk to people... Um, and there was a lack of expansion with that. That's where that oppression card and that 10 of wands card comes from. And that's what you had to drop. But again, this is a soulmate union calling in your soulmate. I really feel like you're calling back in your soulmate. I really think this is someone from your past. Um, but it could be somebody new, whoever it is, it's a very sacred love and it will cause a great deal of happiness for you. So instead of coming across as this king of wands, this right here is the mate. So I do see that there was growth that has happened in order for you to either meet this person to like elevate to their level or for them to elevate to your level or for you guys to reconcile. You're going to be happy as shit very soon. You can thank me later. All right, guys. So if you chose... The uh, third eye chakra, that was your reading. So let's move on to base chakra. That base, that base, that bu -bu 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 base. All right, for the people who chose base chakra universe, messages do you have for them? Who's coming towards them? People who chose base chakra, who's coming towards them? Oh, first card out, tower. Who's coming towards them? People who chose the base chakra card. Who's coming towards them? Who's coming towards them? People who chose the base chakra card. Be as clear as possible. Nine of crystals. Who's coming towards them? High priestess. People who chose the base chakra card, who's coming towards them? One card, please. The universe. All right. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the star card here. I think that's important. People who chose the base chakra card, who's coming towards the universe? As clear as possible, who's coming towards them? Who's coming towards them? People who chose the base chakra card. Who's, whoa. Flipped out. You have separation. Let me get one more card of clarity. One more card for people who chose base chakra. I think I know where this is going, but I just want to be sure here. Yep. All right. Free yourself. All right, guys. So... If you chose the base chakra card, what I'm seeing for you is that you have gotten out of a relationship and you're in separation because you needed to free yourself. The world that you were trying to live in or create for yourself was too small for your thinking. You, I, I feel like you are well to do by yourself. You are a very beautiful or very attractive person. 
Um, but a tower moment happened and this tower moment happened to cause this separation here in order for you to free yourself because you're a healer. You have the high priestess card here. Right now, you are, you belong to the universe. You, you are awakening to this cosmic knowledge that is coming to you. The universe is putting you through a cycle um, of lessons. Like you're, you're a student of the universe right now. And that's why it's important for you to even get grounded. To be grounded and to free yourself because the way in which you will maneuver through this world will not be like how you used to. You you are dying to yourself. I hope that makes sense. Like I'm not saying you're about to die, but you are dying to your old self. Like you, you your higher self is emerging right now and you are, you belong to the universe. It's like you're dressed in all white and no one can touch you. No one can come to you. The universe won't allow it until you obtain this knowledge here and you complete this phase. I went through this and, and it seemed to be a very dark time. But coming out on the other side, now I get it. Yeah, it's time for you to heal, to make space, to drop these burdens that you've been carrying because you, again, you're dying to yourself. You're freeing yourself from all your old ways of thinking, being, um, and you're really embracing something new. You, you're, you're, it's almost as if the universe is making an offering to you of you, right? It's like they're bringing you back to yourself. And so, that's the journey you're on right now. You're on a journey of self-love. You're on a journey of filling your own cup. You're on a journey of being okay with who you are. You're on a journey of merging your inner yin and yang, of bridging the gaps within yourself, of liberating yourself, of freeing yourself from old ways, old habits, old thoughts, old relationships. Like none of that stuff is going to serve you anymore. And when you re-emerge... Um, you will be this high priestess and you would have completed this cycle and then you will move on into the next cosmic lesson or journey that the universe has for you. But right now it's all about you balancing. Man, I've been here. I remember when the tarot card reader was telling me about this and I, every time I would call her, she would say that you're literally merging the bridge between your inner yin and yang. This is about you. This is not about any lovers or relationship outside of you. This is about you in order for you to move. And, and truly, your next phase will be to reunite with the twin flame. Once you finish this journey, this high priestess journey, your next phase will be about merging with the twin flame. It'll be about unconditional love. That'll be your next lesson. Trust me on this one. That'll be your next lesson. So if you don't, if you aren't aware of your twin flame right now, see, you're, you're in time out. Like the universe has you separated from the world and you, you're almost, it's almost as if the universe is guarding you and like, don't touch her or him. Don't touch them. Do not touch them right now. You're in a process of becoming, of gaining your inner strength, of obtaining your wings, of balancing yourself. And it's a necessary journey. You're a healer. You're meant for more. Not that anyone else isn't, but you, my friend, are meant for something spectacular. So um, stay the course. Ground yourself. Get grounded. Get grounded. Get grounded. All right. All right. So if you chose heart chakra, we about to get crunk up in here. People who chose heart chakra, who's coming towards them? People who chose heart chakra, who's coming towards the universe? Who's coming towards the people who chose the heart chakra card? Who's coming towards them? First card, you have the eight of crystals. Hard worker is coming towards you, or you're a hard worker. Second card is oppression. Whoa, they're flipping out left and right. King of crystals. Last card universe, Starseed. 
All right, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. And I will get one more card for you. People who chose the Heart Chakra card, who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards the universe? Be as clear as possible. Who's coming towards them? Whoop. You deserve love. All right. So the person who's coming towards you could be older than you, more mature than you, a little refined. Um, they have bust their butts. They have gone through a lot to get to where they are. They have worked their asses off to become this king of crystals here. King of crystals is equivalent to the king of pentacles. And this person wants to move towards having a new beginning with you this person sees a family with you this person when when you meet them like you are so deserving of love i feel like you're very compassionate you're always giving to others you're always concerned with others you you're always putting someone else before yourself and you deserve love like you you almost neglect yourself because you're always worried about mankind and like humanity as a whole. And this person coming in wants to take care of you. They've been through a lot though. Like they didn't get to the status of the king of crystals by just twiddling their thumbs and spinning on their ass. Like they've been through a lot. So just be sure to let your guards down because I do feel that you may be guarded. Like, let your guard down, put your sword down, don't cut the shit out of them right out the gate, and don't be confused by this offering of the universe. You are being offered a new beginning. The star C card is the equivalent to a fool card, but look at this. Page of Cups. This person wants to come in and make an offer to you, give you a message of love, um, and it'll be innocence. What did I just say? I feel like you put others before yourself. You're the queen of pentacles. But this person wants to build a life with you. The thing about the king of crystals, which again is equivalent to the king of pentacles. The, this is a match right here. This is a pair. You just have to make sure that you don't come across like this. That's why this came out in reverse. You cannot be the queen of swords. She will chop the shit out of people. You have to be soft. Put your guard down and allow this to shine through. You guys are a pair. You're a pair. Uh, what else? Yep. And this will be successful here. That was easy. Um, let's get one more card for you. Person coming towards the people who chose heart chakra. You paid your dues, man. Like you all look new love. Ha ha ha. Bound chicka wow wow. So flirt. Let your guard down. Let go of your control issues. Look at this. Let go of your control issues. This could be the one. Forgive get to know each other like this is so sweet oh my goodness he's going to put you before others the way that you put others before yourself and the universe is going to bring that awakening to you and again i see this as an engagement right here like this person is this knight of pentacles is moving towards making a grounded solid offer this relation has the potential to move up to a marriage you have the empress card here at the bottom of the deck you have the empress card here underneath that six of swords so this person wants to move into this with you the empress can represent marriage love fertility pregnancy I, you could have babies with this person um balance you guys it's almost as if you guys can both be a little cutthroat look at this you can he can be charismatic and very funny, but you guys can both be a little cutthroat. So put those swords down and stay here. Yep, you'll expand each other's worlds. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. The truth of your nature it wants to invest in you. Ten of Pentacles. Very grounded. This is very grounded. I don't see a lot of cups here though, so it's very logical. It's almost like someone may come in and withhold their feelings. And I feel like I said in the beginning, let your guard down. So make sure you, you've you made space for this person and you call this person in. Just allow them to come in. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Thanks. Bye, guys.